Uh, hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. We're going to see right now how to install OpenCV4 on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Uh, first thing, we need to make sure that we have enough memory to install OpenCV. With enough memory, I mean enough memory RAM. The Jetson Nano has 4GB of RAM, which is not enough to install OpenCV, so we need to add some extra memory, which is called swap memory, that will take place when there is not any more RAM. So first we go and check system monitor and let's see how much swap memory we have. Usually you should have two gigabyte of swap memory. You see here me uh, RAM memory on the left side and we have up to 3.9 and then swap memory 1.9. Uh, now we're going to increase the size of the swap memory up to four gigabyte. So let's do that. Uh, first thing we just open the terminal uh, right here and then we need to install a module called zram config so sudo apt install and then zram config and you press enter and you type your administrator password and then you press enter again okay in my case the installation was already done i as i did it uh, just short time ago and once we have this module we can go and change the size so what we do right now we uh, edit the configuration file of zram swapping so just type sudo gedit and by the way i'm going to put all these lines in the blog post you will find the link below in the description if you want just to copy them and then usr bin and then init zram swapping and we press enter and this is the configuration file of the ZRAM. Uh, if you go on this line calculate memory to use for ZRAM it is going to create half of the RAM size as we have 4 gigabyte it is going to create 2 gigabyte of swap file. So what we need to do is we need to change this line below where we see the total memory and it's total memory divided by 2. So as we want as much as the RAM instead of dividing we are now delete this divided by 2 and also let's remove the division and now once we've done this we can just save the file and now we can close it uh, we've saved the file so let's uh, restart the Jetson Nano and we should get now 4 gigabyte of swap memory so let's just go on shutdown and then restart and once the system is restarted let's go again on system monitor let's check that the swap memory file size was changed correctly so we just open system monitor and what we should see is swap memory of 3.9 gigabyte so i highly suggest to take this step before installing opencv otherwise your system might crash and you will not be able to install opencv uh, so now let's move on And here I have all the instructions, all the lines of code that we need to type on the terminal to install OpenCV4. And also these instructions, you will find them on the link below in the description. Uh, let's quickly explain that. We're going to install OpenCV in seven steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You, you will see that later. Uh, quickly. At the beginning we update all the packages and we're going to install the packages to build OpenCV from the source. Then we install the video and image codecs with these few lines and then finally we download 
OpenCV. So here from GitHub, we download OpenCV 4.1, and then we download also the OpenCV contrib library. If you don't know, OpenCV comes also, has an extra module called OpenCV contrib, which contains uh, extra libraries and dependencies. For example, I made a video in the past where you can compare images using the SIFT algorithm, and that was part of the contrib library. So I highly suggest you to download the contrib library because it might be useful later on. And then we unzip OpenCV, and then we build it from the source code, and then we finally compile it. It might seem a bit tough if you are a beginner, but I will explain that step by step, so don't be uh, scared, don't... Uh, and let's go. So, we just open the terminal. And first thing... We type sudo apt update. So we're going to update all the libraries that are now on your Ubuntu system. And by the way, each time there is some updating and some uh, some progress bar on the terminal, I'm going to pause the video so that uh, so so that it will be faster. Okay, now it just finish quickly. Uh, now sudo apt install, let's copy this second line, copy and paste, okay I'm going to pause the video right now. And I will be back when it's finished this one. Then the third line we're going to install Python, Python 3, NumPy, and NumPy for Python 3. And NumPy is the library to work with arrays and it's essential in OpenCV as the images in OpenCV are NumPy arrays. And we always call NumPy and OpenCV when we work with OpenCV, by the way. Pause the video. Then we install CURL, so we copy the fourth line and just paste it right here. sudo apt install CURL. And this is a module that we will use to download from the terminal OpenCV from the GitHub website. Now we're going to download all the video and image codecs. So again, we have four lines. Each line starts with sudo, sudo and sudo. So let's copy the first line to install the first few modules. Copy and then paste. I'm not sure how I can paste it on Ubuntu with the keyboard. I'm, I'm used to Windows where I just press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, but on Ubuntu so it seems it's not working. At least the Ctrl V. Then the second line. Paste. Okay, the control C is working. Then while it's uh, going, I will start copying the third line. And paste. And finally, the fourth line of this image and video codex. Paste. 
paste Okay, and now after this, we are in the first step where we're going to download OpenCV and the country modules. So first we copy these lines from CURL to OpenCV 4.1.0 zip. And with this line, we download OpenCV. Copy and paste. And it's around 85 megabytes. So I'm going to pause the video and I will be back when it's finished. OpenCV is now downloaded. Let's now download the contrib module. So we go on the second line right here and I copy this one URL and then the website of GitHub where there is the contrib module, then copy and paste it right here and this module is smaller it's around 50 megabytes something so i will pause the video and i will be back when it's finished now we have downloaded both the opencv and opencv contrib library in fact if we go on the files uh, right here we can see OpenCV 4.10 zip and then the contrib library. These are the just two zip files. So what we are going to do right now is to extract these files. We are going to unzip OpenCV 4.1.0 dot zip and then we're going to unzip also the contrib library unzip open cv contrib 4.1.0 dot zip So if we go again on the files, we can see here we have OpenCV zip and here we have both folders, OpenCV.1 and here we have all the files inside the folder. So from the terminal, we access this folder. We have the command CD, which stands for change directory. And then we type CD and we want to enter in the directory of OpenCV. So OpenCV 4.1.0. Inside this folder, we're going to create a new folder. So we type the command mkdir, which stands for make directory release. Then we enter in this directory cd release. So we enter first in the OpenCV 4.1.0 and then we create a new directory called release and then we enter in this directory release. And then let's go on the next step. On the next step, we're going to build OpenCV using CMake. Uh, this is the command CMake and that all the parameters of OpenCV. And keep in mind that these parameters are specifically made for the Jetson Nano. So for example, Jetson Nano works with CUDA GPU. So this is enabled and then there are a few other things. We build OpenCV both for Python 2 and 3. Also, we have the extra modules here. We are adding the OpenCV contrib library. And so we are going to copy all this from CMake to the end right here. I copy, Control C, and then we paste it right here. And then we press enter and this will take a few minutes i'm going to pause the video when we see configuring done and build files have written to the directory release now it's time to build the library using the command make 
and then j4 okay this uh, let me explain this j4 this j4 means how many processors we are using uh, the Jetson Nano has a quad core GPU so it has four processors so in this way we're going to say to use all the processor of the Jetson Nano what it does it goes to use in this way all the power so it will be faster in installation but also you will not most likely be able to use the Jetson Nano as all the power is going to be used by the installation so if you want to do some other operation while you are installing this you can use just j1 or j21 or two processors but keep in mind that it will be a bit slow so i'm going to use j4 and press enter once this is finished and it takes around one hour to get to 100 percent then it's time for the installation so we just conclude with sudo make install and we press enter password now this uh, would be much faster than the previous one so let's wait just a few minutes and i'm going to pause the video again and after sudo make install finish our installation is complete so what we do now is we're going to test opencv uh, so i go on the main directory let's clear this one and now let's open python 3 and it should work also with python 2 i'm going anyway with python 3 and now we import cv2 okay when we don't get any error it means that opencv is installed correctly and now we're going to check the version so we're going to print cv2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore close parenthesis and here we see version 4.1.0 i hope this video was useful uh, in conclusion i want to remember you that i'm working on a video course for the raspberry pi and i will include also the nvidia jetson nano for some part of the course where i will show you many interesting things for example how to control robot harm create home security system, self-driving car, and much more on this video course. If you want to know more, I will put somewhere soon a link on the description so that you can stay updated.